G'day, welcome to another episode of Country Life on the Coast. Today's episode, we're going to keep working on the fence and hopefully finish it. Now you would have seen in a previous episode that we got our gates installed. Now we just have to continue putting all the top rails on and then run the wire mesh and attach that. So the end is in sight, not too much further to go. So I've got all the other logs sitting here ready to go. I think I'll try and create a bit of a production line and get these cut and notched out as quick as possible. And then we can get the wire run. winds everywhere today so we've got our top rails done all the way at the front there and on this return and as you just saw we've placed these two ready to be nailed off well screwed to the post in the middle but nailed either end and we've got these brackets again if you saw the previous fencing video we used these ones and so that will attach to the flat post and then the top rail sits in the curve here and when I had to buy some more, I found that you can buy ones that have pace, have a curve for the top rail and then a curve for the big post over there. So we'll use that one over there and we'll use a flat one here. So we'll hammer these off, install them, put our screws in the middle post and then we are done with all our top rails. Awesome. guys give you a quick update on where we're up to so late yesterday afternoon we got all of our top rails done so we now have all our posts all the gates installed and all the top rails installed so really happy about that it's a big achievement the end is definitely in sight so today what we're going to do is hence why i got the old shirt on is paint so i want to paint everything first before we run the wire just found it so much easier to get that done the other side fence over there we still need to finish painting and it's just a, so much more fiddly having that wire there so we'll do that uh, the next few days or so but this afternoon we've got to get this painted so then we can get the wire installed so i'll grab some paint and we'll get into it There we go guys, that painting is now all done, which is great. Tomorrow we'll come back and we'll hang the wire.
guys will just a bit of an update so we've got this wire installed that's the continuation of our side fence that we did previously so we've tensioned it up one thing I tried just then was I pulled it tight and the top wires still sort of lent back a bit as though they weren't getting pulled the same so I decided to try shifting where I was clamping it and actually move that right to the top and then just pull from the top and it certainly did help it pulled it a bit tighter still not exactly the same as the rest but much better anyway so I'm okay with that I think next time we'll actually try that a bit more because the bottom ones are so close together they seem to all come together as you pull it there's some dark clouds starting to roll over and the sun's disappearing but I might just try and do just a little piece over near the shed this afternoon and then tomorrow morning come out and run the rest of it at least that's the goal so got to get this done So we've got our slings all on. I've had to attach it to the tow bar of the car and we're gonna tension it up from that. Not ideal, but I have nothing else to connect to. So we have done it before. We should be fine. I think we'll get cranking and uh, yeah, see how this goes. guys the fencing's all done you probably saw finishing off this fence just behind me I used a couple of little ratchet straps just to pull a bit of tension on it it didn't have to be massively tight but it just had to look right so little ratchet strap worked really well just for that short length everything else yeah we use that rotor and that was the best tool for that job too so very happy though to finally get this done so the other day when we finished putting the top rails on I was using these timber screws for it and I used the last two putting in the last ones that I had to. I sort of roughly worked out how many I would need uh, and there was 250 in this box. Ended up being exactly right. Surprised me. I thought I might have been a little bit short or something but um, yeah. So I did really well with that and the other one were using staples so again tried to work out when I started all this how many staples I'd need and so I bought two boxes like this and they come in a two kilogram pack 
So you don't really know how many you get. So I bought two, I bought two, two kilo packs, four kilograms of them. And it worked out that I'm actually just a little bit short. I'd like to put a couple of others on the fence just here on the end there. So I might buy another little packet of those just to, um, just to finish that off, make it look a bit neater at the end there. Otherwise, for what it's roughly worked out what I needed, um, man, <laughs> that was pretty accurate. Surprised me, but very happy. So, so I'll show you these fences. This is the fence that runs out to the front that we've just done today. I said, sort of learned all the tricks, I think, if I can. Just tension it upright. And the wire ran with the lay of the land a little bit. So you can see up here, there's a little bit of a droop in it, but the top rail runs flat. And I'm okay with that. I wanted the top rail to look right. And over time, as plants grow up, and that probably won't even see this fence, or this wire anyway. So yeah, really happy with that. And this is the front fence that we finished off this morning as well. So. We're almost 300 meters of fencing. Ah, finally got to the end of it. Very happy. So guys, now that we've done that, the fencing project is complete. It's one hell of achievement. It's probably taken longer than what I'd hoped it to do, but you know, it is what it is. We've got the end. Overall, really happy with the way it's come out. Thank you for watching, for your comments along the way and your suggestions, it's been great. But now that's all we have time for, so thank you so much for watching. Please hit that like and subscribe button and we'll catch you next time. God bless.